My name is Karen Hines and I'm the Mental Health and Wellbeing Lead at the Burton Borough School in um, Tufton Beacon. And what was the idea you wanted to share today? So um, we do an awful lot um, with Mental Health and Wellbeing but one of the things that we've done is, that's been incredibly successful is the work that we've done with our student wellbeing mentors. Mm -hmm. um, we are in our third year um, with our wellbeing mentors now and um, we've attached them to our small schools. So we have a small school system, other schools might call that a house system. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, and our, um, our um, student Albion rentals are attached to a small school. So if a student comes in in the morning and they're upset about something like homework or something that's fairly easy to rectify, yeah. um, our student wellbeing mentors will go and will work with that individual student. They're attached to specific students that they work with every day. Um, they have supervision once a fortnight with the small schools yeah. um, and they are really part of that small school team. They are the fourth layer of that small schools team and that's worked really well for us. And what's been the impact of that? What do, what's happened as a result of that system? As a result of that, small schools find that students that have just have got an issue with maybe they feel a little bit awkward telling their teacher they couldn't finish their homework yeah. or that type of thing, they will find their wellbeing mentor and we've had um, wellbeing mentors, certainly year 10 and 11, go with younger year 7 and 8 students to find a member of staff and say, look sir, can I just start this conversation? Um, this student has struggled to let you know that yeah. Things like sitting at the back and they can't hear, just that oh, sort okay. of thing, little um, things, that yeah. they perhaps need a little bit of support with to do, uh, they don't want to do it themselves, they just want a little bit of support, yeah. um, those sort of things, and also students that are anxious, students that are anxious about coming to into school, school. Yeah. Um, they can be met at reception by a wellbeing mentor, taken to their CLL group, so those things that maybe historically a member of staff would have done, yeah. a peer mentor, because they obviously understand the situation themselves, they might have been there themselves, all our wellbeing mentors are specifically chosen um, and most of them have had an issue in the past that means that, that we feel that they're really empathetic to students' needs. So wow. we carefully choose our wellbeing mentors. Sounds fantastic. And what would be your kind of top tip? Sorry, my arm's getting tired. What would be your top tip to someone who maybe wanted to do this and they weren't quite sure? Maybe they're worried about like the load on the student who's the mentor or something like that. What would you suggest? Okay, well, we've been really lucky. All our wellbeing mentors are trained by uh, a CAMS mental health nurse practitioner. Yeah. Um, if if you can get an external trainer like that, it yeah. obviously that's absolutely fantastic and yeah. that, um, that link is brilliant for us. Um, but if not, I think basically making sure that you've got some really specific ground rules. Yeah. All of our mental health, um, every student is attached to um, a staff mental health wellbeing mentor, so we have staff mentors as well. Yeah. They can go to them at any time. Um, if they're on a drop-in duty, then um, that member of staff knows they are, and if there are any issues at all, they can go to that member of staff straight away during that lunchtime. Brilliant. And we make sure that they have fortnightly supervision. It takes That's 10 minutes, so, yeah. and I think it's really, really important. Reassures everyone. Massively. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. Really appreciate it.